Well, here we are with uh, another quick video update. I'm going to give it a shot on the iPad this time and see how this thing does. Sorry if the quality is really poor, but uh, we'll give it a go. Anyway, I do not have a whole lot to report. Uh, the sim has been definitely being worked on, uh, mostly to do with my uh, displays. I've been working with the developer Jet45, Jason. Um, Jason, if you're watching this, thank you very much for picking this back up. Uh, had some issues with uh, the displays not fitting correctly. I think there was a couple comments on my previous videos regarding that. Uh, indeed, um, Jet45 doesn't seem to get along with my monitors. Jason uh, set me up with a express build uh, just for me uh, for now to test and so far it's working but I think I might be doing something wrong or maybe it isn't working as intended I'm, I'm having some difficulties so I'm gonna make a separate video uh, just for uh, the developers and upload it and hopefully we can nail down what uh, what's going on sure looks promising though um, one new toy arrived recently. Bear with me, I'm not used to this camera. This is my new bezel to live up here. This is care of Ron Rollo, uh, Hangar 45. You can get in touch with him. I forget his website name. This thing is incredible. This actually has a small gear drive inside, or I'm assuming a gear drive, that you can actually uh, set the level of your uh, aircraft attitude up or down to compensate for a uh, viewpoint of the pilot, whether he's high or low in the seat. Incredible. Backlight, everything. This arrived uh, some time ago, and uh, I have to take the MIP back off to mount it up there, unfortunately. And that uh, requires removal of the glare shield and all supporting hardware, so I'm kind of putting that off. Um, until I get this uh, Jet45 display um, issue sorted out. I really want to work with uh, with Jason and hopefully we can get it figured out while we're, uh, while we're on that. Um, stuck the yoke and pedals there some time ago just to give it a try and uh, of course it's pretty tempting to take a flight once the thing's all booted up and running. Right now we're, we're sitting everything is dead there's my cleaning wipe. I need to clean these monitors. Still running with the SciTech panels for now until the rest gets interfaced. Uh, these panels are ready for interface here. Uh, the switches are installed. LEDs are functional. I just have to actually hook most of them up to the FDS. Uh, EFIS panels fully functional. Care of Vince had a question on uh, PM to me where someone could get their hands on these. Uh, Vince in Italy, homecockpits.com, he sells them, and uh, yeah, fantastic. Runs reversion panels beside it, beautiful. Uh, here is my placeholder, this is not hooked up for the FGC, uh, the guts are still laying back here. And I uh, heard rumor that Vince maybe, now that he's settled in, may be coming out with an FGC. That's pretty cool. Uh, that would be the final piece, our big piece anyway, and we all know his uh, quality on these panels is second to none. For anybody who hasn't seen the previous videos, uh, Vince at HomeCockpits.com uh, made my RMUs and display bezels. These things are uh, fully functional, interfaced. If I had the thing booted up, we'd be able to play with it, but uh, yeah, fantastic super super everything uh, works as intended so um, not much else to update other than uh, a mess back here because I uh, I changed this uh, 
This is the computer that's running the Jet 45 Xeon processor server computer. Pretty high, way overkill for the Jet 45, but I was trying to get around this uh, display problem, so put a mega graphics card in there and a monster uh, CPU, and although CPU never really was a problem, but can't have too much. Uh, that PC over there is running the RMUs. That one over there is running the console, and uh, that's pretty much it for now. Back side of the glare shield for anyone who hasn't seen it before. And uh, yeah, pretty soon uh, it'll be uh, time to move this thing out of the center of the room once I won't need it at the back side quite so often and uh, get some display set up. For now, running the 22 inch Acer just, uh, just because it's convenient, I have it, and uh, it's working pretty good. Let's me take a flight, test some things out. Uh, headset over here. It's actually hooked up to the console, which uh, I have running Squawk Box. So uh, I am live on Vatsim whenever I want to be. I have played on there a few times, taken a couple of flights just to uh, try and keep the skills sharp with the uh, oh, phonetic alphabet and everything. It it tends to comes back quick, but it, it's pretty easy to start stumbling when you're trying to talk to ATC. On a side note, um, a little bit of amateur radio. I've been playing in the uh, with a few different bands on the amateur radio, and that helps keep uh, those skills sharp too. But uh, yeah, for now, you know, the SciTech quadrant's still in place. Uh, I do need to get a throttle quadrant, but for now, this will fit the part. Anyway. Any questions, uh, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching.